All right, so I wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, pump, the existing pump, the one that came with the system, came came to me that we had so many problems with. Kind of talk a little bit through that and where we're at with that and why we did what, why I did what we did. So uh, real quick, it's a three and a half power uh, marathon uh, electric motor with a uh, American stainless steel pump. Um, the pump unit alone cost about a thousand dollars. I got a quote from Maruno downtown Grand Junction and they wanted nine hundred dollars plus installation so probably close to about thirteen hundred dollars for a new pump installed. You can get them rebuilt uh, but that's still pretty expensive so I don't know what the rebuild on it is and you've got to take it out take it down there and then bring it back and install it so you got those labor costs well as well. The other part of this uh, pumping existing pump system is this controller. This is a, a Skawa V1000 controller. Uh, it is a variable speed controller and a variable speed pump. So what that means is that this system will, the pump will ramp up and slow down based on water demand. A lot of water demand, it'll run wide open. A little water demand, it won't, uh, it, it'll just barely turn. That presents some challenges. One of the things that Dale can tell you about or uh, and I'll tell you about is um, whenever the pump is running really slowly, like somebody has uh, in the garden, they have a drip system open. Uh, they have their own little drip system installed or uh, they have those drip lines. Uh, that pump is going to run really, really slowly. Now that's a stainless steel pump and it requires water to come across it to cool it down. The problem that I was having this year is that um, the pump, uh, we were having a leak somewhere in the system and I'll sh and, and I'll, in another video I'll talk about that leak or where I thought it where I think it is um, and when the so the leak would cause the pump to run really really slowly and it wouldn't be able to dissipate much heat so all this piping would get almost dang near red hot and, and the water inside here would get so hot that it would almost vaporize it would come out of this end piece down here like steam uh, hot to, enough to where it would scald you what it was doing it kept melting the joints that glue on those joints I've learned is only good to about 160 degrees so it literally melt those joints and due to the high pressure blow the pipe out I had a lot of issues with that I've rebuilt this uh, piping system here about four or five times um, but that's one of the problems that we encountered so uh, talking with Maruno Talking with the Yaskawa, uh, the Maruno rep, the technician out of Phoenix. I spent an hour on the phone with him one day. And uh, talking to our lawn guy who's been uh, servicing these type systems for a long time. Uh, everyone agrees that this system's grossly overbuilt for what the neighborhood uses it for. So I started thinking instead of messing around with this, what were my other options? Uh, what was a cheaper option? Because that pump, like I said, is $1,000 plus labor the uh controller if you want to want to replace it, it's another thousand dollars i did troubleshoot the pump with the technician on the phone one day uh he believes that there's something wound up in the pump right now it will run it will run in hand however he believes that there's something wound up inside that pump or that pump needs to be rebuilt and the reason he says that is we did a test where we blocked in this valve and we deadheaded the pump and the pump was pulling 14.8 amps uh, the pump should only pull about 8 amps uh, when it's deadheaded so uh, that's according to the tech he believes that there's something wrong with the pump so having said that I started looking around well, what are some other options we have if it's an oversized setup to begin with and it's really complicated to work on I mean, that controller is not easy to work on. It is hard to figure out. Um, and now we're on the phone with a technician trying to figure it out. It's just a pain in the butt. So, well, what's another option? So, I uh, did some quick math on uh, gallons per minute on these, these heads and distances and pickup um, distances. And I came up with a, this is called a, a, a single speed uh, jet drive pump this uh, I bought this at Harbor Freight. I paid two hundred dollars walk out the door for this pump This pump has a built-in pressure uh, Transmitter our pressure sensor right here 
you can take this screw off and actually adjust the the uh, the some of the settings on the uh, the pressure uh, if you want to. Uh, it's got a built-in pressure gauge, and it also has overload protection. So if it starts drawing a lot of amps, it will shut itself off. Those are really the three things I needed, or I think we needed, uh, in a pump. Uh, we needed it to work when it was uh, demanded, wide open, hold pressure, enough pressure to supply the uh, system with the water it needed. Uh, we also needed it to uh, shut off whenever the uh, whenever it reached a certain pressure, and I needed some uh, very some ability to um, to adjust those pressures. So. Um, installed this pump in September, first week of September, and uh, it ran flawless all the way uh, through the first week of October when we took the system out due to freezing. So um, it's real simple. This is a one and a half inch uh, setup here. Pipe goes down. There's a footer valve at the bottom. Uh, the footer valve was 20 bucks. Some of these pieces, about another 40 or 50 bucks. Like I said, the pump was 200. What I really like about the pump is it's plug and play. So I just plugged it into this uh, outlet right here. There's an outlet in there. Plugged it in there. When you plug it in, it automatically comes on and pressures up. So uh, it'll press up the whole system. And uh, and then whenever water is demanded, the pump will, the pressure will release and then the pump will kick on. And like I said, it worked pretty flawless all year. I mean, uh, all month, for the last month of the year. So uh, it does look a little ganky. I've got a box there that keeps the rain off of it. Um, if I was here long term, I would probably come up with a little bit better solution um, for this pump. This would be the primary, and I would leave that one hooked up, the other pump hooked up as a secondary pump. So um, you can do what you want, but that's how I would do it. This one does operate in hand. You can turn it on. Right now, I've killed all the power, but you can turn it on to auto and try to run it. We had a lot of problems with that. Um, or you can just uh, run it in hand if you, if that pump went out and you needed a backup for to hand water. Um, what I like about this pump and the reason I wanted to go this route is because any homeowner um, that may be running the HOA or uh, um, they can go buy this off the shelf or buy one similar. They can install it themselves uh, with minimal tools and equipment. Uh, really just PVC and some fittings, uh, glue and some tape. Um, so, and it's cheap. I can buy five of these, uh, <coughs> these pumps, <coughs> these uh, pumps from Harbor Freight for one of those, not including the controller. So, like I said, that setup in there is probably, uh, without installation, probably $2,000. So that right there, 200 bucks plus the, the PVC piping and stuff. So maybe you got, maybe you're in it for 250. Um, it's a real simple setup. It works. Um, and that was kind of my thought on, on how, uh, how, how to uh, overcome some of the issues we have. Um, in the next video, I'll talk about some of the issues and uh, why I think we were having so many issues with this pump and uh, what we did to fix it so uh, that's kind of where we're at there are some pressure gauges that typically runs around 55 psi i bought these uh pressure gauges at home depot they're 10 bucks a piece i think uh they if you drop one I, and i did drop one they'll break they're real fragile but um uh, all you need really is two uh, I, I needed one there at the time and one there uh, so i knew kind of what the uh, discharge pressure of the pump was but um anyways it's uh that's where we're at so uh, 10 bucks uh, you can get those pressure gauges however that pump comes with a pressure gauge built in so um more in the next video